what's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So, uh, man, there's so many fights. I almost forgot to do the um, the uh, my post fight reaction to uh, Shakur Stevenson fight. I'm over here watching Shane Mosley Jr. fight Danny Jacobs, bro. Danny Jacobs looks just oh my gosh, he looks just trash, bro. He looks like I mean, he 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 just looks like a shell of himself, man. Um. I, I don't I'm this is like he he I heard he missed weight he doesn't look like he's in in the proper shape he just looks trash the fact that Shane Mosley's doing him anyways um so you know Shakur Stevenson came in oh wow well, Shakur Stevenson came in um you know very cautious like he does you know um his his opponent I, I'm not even to pronounce his last name but I already knew his opponent who, who his opponent was because his opponent fought Frank Martin and lost to Frank Martin um and you know Shakur you know Shakur came in you know very very you know the, the way Shakur does you know he came in very strategical very cautious um controlling the distance and range better than you know anybody else that I've seen uh in in today's time um and you know you're just filling them out like the first two rounds about the first three rounds actually just filling them out and then finally um Shakur started stepping up uh to you know walking walking uh his opponent down or whatnot now I, I felt like um his opponent um was doing good with changing levels but Shakur is just such a master at just controlling range it just didn't affect Shakur at all um Shakur was you know he he, he, he was very sharp uh, with his counters um timing was very good he Shakur looked look good it's just he just doesn't have that 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 finishing tactic the way like a Tank Davis does, um, or whatnot, or you know like a, a Tia Fimo, like you know just he just doesn't have that finishing factor or whatnot. Um, and that's okay, bro, because it's not like uh, it, you know it, I know it's fighters in the Hall of Fame that fame that wasn't knockout punches. Now, granted, I would you know first that comes to mind is uh, another Southpaw by the name of Pernell Whitaker, um, but. You know, Pernell Whitaker was a little bit more entertaining than Sh than what Shakur is or whatnot. But um, it 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 just you know Shakur was walking his opponent down. Um, I, I would have liked for Shakur to really just stay uh stay on the jab and you know. But I understand what Shakur was trying to do. He was trying to make up for his performance in November, and um, he just couldn't um you know he couldn't get the knockout. But he definitely was catching him, catching and shooting. That's what Andre Ward was even telling him to do, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. And he was doing a good job of it. It's just, bro, his opponent was just, you know, that, he just, his opponent was, you know, he just, not even so much of his opponent. He just uh, doesn't have that finishing punch or whatnot. Um, but regardless, I, I had Sha uh, Shakur winning, I think, 12 rounds to 0 or maybe 11 rounds to uh, 1. Um... But you know, good, good shot, good, good, you know, decent performance with Shakur. Uh, I, I, I didn't stay to listen to his post fight. I actually didn't even stay to listen to his, um, to the. Uh, I, I don't even think I stayed to listen to, to his, uh, his, um, the uh, scorecards because I was, you know, this is actually I was interested to see what Danny Jacobs was going to look like against um, Shane Mosley Jr. So I tur turned to this fight. Um, but you know. Um, Uh oh. Okay, sorry about that. That's the baby coughing. Um. But anyways, um. You know, I uh, so I you know I didn't I didn't hear what Shakur said in the post fight con uh, reaction, but you know I don't care to see him fight Tank Davis, and I've always I mean like I've always felt like that. Now it's a fight that needs to happen, yes. But it's a it's not a fight that's gonna get me excited, bro. I just don't think Shakur has what it takes to be able to beat uh, Tank Davis. Tank Davis is gonna walk Shakur down, and not only is he gonna walk Shakur down, he's going to. Uh, I feel like he's gonna make Shakur fight. Um, but but see, well, then again, no, I think Shakur. I think Tank is gonna have a hard time getting on the inside with Shakur. But it's. I mean, until he does, the fight is gonna be so boring, bro. Like. I, I, I'm just I'm sorry, but that fight just does not excite me, bro. Like it's a fight that needs to happen. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a fight that doesn't excite me. I I, I would rather see, you know, Tank versus um maybe like William Zapata who fights tonight as well. I uh, William Zapata is like I think but is uh, Tank's mandatory. I I like to see that. Um, 
I'd like to see Tank versus uh, finally Danny Jacobs opening, like landing something nice. I'd like to see uh, Shakur maybe. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Shakur versus Lomachenko, but just know that it's, that's going to be a boring fight while it lasts, bro. Like, until, like I don't, I don't think it's going to be even be a stoppage in that fight, bro. But I mean, I, that's cool as long as they don't put it on pay per view. Because I, I just don't care to see Shakur fight on pay per view. Shakur is a great fighter, hell of a fighter very smart but i don't care to like pay 70 dollars to see him fight bro i'm just being honest you know what i'm saying and he and he didn't it wasn't his fault bro like that that you know like his opponent um you know he was walking his opponent down in a strategic way he looked very good doing it bro he, he was uh you know and, and his his punches you know he was very sharp with his uh with his with his counters or whatnot but i just uh I just don't, I'm sorry, but him and Tank, that just doesn't excite me, bro. I'd rather see Tank versus Lomachenko or uh, Tank versus Williams or Peta or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as Oshaki, I got to speak on Oshaki Foster. Um, Jacobs finally, I think, won a round. He's catching Shane Mosley. It's round 10, finally, the last round. Too little, too late. Um, Shane, I mean, uh, Oshaki Foster got robbed, bro. Uh, I thought I clearly had Oshaki winning this fight. I don't, I mean, this is just, you know, they boxing is hit and don't get hit, bro. And he started off strong now in the middle rounds. Yeah, granted, yeah, if you want to give, um, um, what's his name, um, the middle rounds cool, but I thought, uh, bro, no, it's all right, Shane, don't give this fight away. I thought, uh, Oh, oh, Shaqie just uh, dominated. Well, not maybe not dominated, but controlled the fight or whatnot. Um, but uh, wow, yeah, I got Shane. I had Shane. Um, I got Shane winning this fight. <laughs> um, I would have never thought I'd see the day where Danny Jacobs gets beat by Shane Mosley Jr. That's crazy. Um. I think I have it nine rounds to one. Shane Mosley Jr. Um, but anyways, uh, but my bad. Anyways, um, but you know, I hope Oshaki gets a rematch. He deserves one. Oshaki got robbed. Um, as far as um, as far as uh, um, Keyshawn Davis, he had the the best performance of the night in my opinion. He was uh, he was tested. And I and I love that man. I love to see when a fighter gets tested and they rise to the occasion or whatnot. And he did. He rose to the occasion. Um, he, it was an ugly fight. Well, at times, at moments, it was an ugly fight. But um, he he looked very good, bro. I, I thought he looked very sharp. Um, I really appreciated, um, you know, him. It, 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 uh, what's his name? His opponent. You guys got to forgive me for not remembering these guys' names, bro. Um, but his opponent, who was a hard hitter. Uh, I believe he was like 31 and 3 with 28 knockouts or something like that. Um he 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 was pressing the action, but um he you know Keyshawn didn't allow that pressure to get to him. And um, you know, he was figuring him out the first few rounds and he was just, you know, just, it was it was just a beautiful performance, catch and shooting or whatnot. I, I can't wait to see uh Keyshawn step it up or whatnot in his um Stepping up in his opponent selection, you guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm watching this fight and doing this, just trying to see uh, who won this Shane Mosley versus Danny Jacobs. I got Shane Mosley winning, I think, nine rounds to one or eight rounds to two. Might be nine rounds to one. If they give this, if they take 99 91, well, I am so good at this. <laughs> I'm so good at judging by a uh, scorecard shame. Yeah. <laughs> Danny Jacobs needs to retire, bro. I'm going to do a video on this, bro. But I never thought I would have seen the day where Shane Mosley Jr. beats Danny <laughs> Jacobs. Beats a, a, a former top fighter, bro. Like, that is crazy. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, good luck for Keyshawn. Stop for Keyshawn to step it up. I would like to see him. Uh, in there with um, I like to see him in there with the Williams or Peter or whatnot. Um, I think that he's ready for a title shot. <coughs> um, 
dude looked just like his dad, by the way. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Sorry about this video, man. Watching fights. But what do I know?